Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train and in today's video I'm inviting you to come cook with me and let's check out what is for dinner. I can't remember how many of these videos I've done in the past, but it has definitely been quite a while. I try to like film some of the stuff that I make for dinner and then I add it to a folder on my computer so I can put it all together into a video like this. And when I looked at my folder the other day, I'm like, man, I've got a ton of stuff in here. So it's probably been a while. So I've got a ton of amazing recipes for you all today. A lot of these are just video clips of the finished product, but a couple of these I'm actually taking you along with me as I'm in the kitchen cooking these meals. So for those of you that are new here, I'm a nutrition coach that is feeding my family of three. I try to make sure that most of my meals are pretty well balanced. Doesn't always work. I'm not perfect, but I do my best. So hopefully this video will give you some ideas on what to make for dinner for you and your family next week. I've got all the links to the recipes in the description, so feel free to check those out at any time. And lastly, my meals might look different from yours. The portion sizes on my plate might be bigger or smaller than yours, and that is totally fine because we are all different. So you make sure you get what you need for you and your family. So with all that being said, let me take you into all the dinners I've made in the past couple of months. This first dinner is chicken parmesan, and seriously, look how perfect that is. Who knew that it was so easy to make your own chicken parmesan? It was seriously just a, a chicken breast, and you bread it with breadcrumbs, you put the spaghetti sauce and the cheese on top, bake it in the oven. And <laughs> the broccoli, it looks like there's just not a whole lot of broccoli on my plate. I think I probably should have used a smaller plate or added more broccoli. But this recipe was so good. I'm, I, I saved it for later. I'm gonna try to make this at least once a month. I also served it on top of some whole wheat spaghetti, but you could also serve it on like zucchini noodles or something if you wanted to keep it like kind of a lower carb. This next dinner is chicken sausages with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this quinoa blend, I believe might have been like an instant quinoa packet, I think. You just microwave it and it's done. The chicken sausages, I believe, were the Idell's chicken apple sausages. Then I just roasted up some cauliflower and I had some extra cabbage. So I just chopped it all up and sauteed it in some butter and some salt and pepper. So you've got like the, the perfect plate here. You've got a quarter of protein, a quarter of carbs, and half your plate in vegetables. These are my favorite kinds of dinners because they're literally just ingredients that you cook up a little bit and put onto a plate. It was delicious. This next recipe is a chicken and stuffing. I believe this was a slow cooker recipe that I did and it's chicken and then cream of chicken soup. Either you can use a can or you can make your own cream of chicken soup. Put that in there along with a box of stuffing and it is pretty much done after a few hours. Really yummy comfort food, also good with mashed potatoes, but this time around, I just roasted up some baby carrots and Brussels sprouts to go on the side. Once again, a good half the plate with vegetables. And this next dinner was chili. I love myself a good chili, and this one was just really simple. It's, uh, I think I the only vegetables that were in it were like bell peppers and onions. Uh, you could easily add other vegetables into it as well, but this one is simple. It's the kind that my mom used to make a whole lot, and I've got that recipe down below as well, but serves a ton. I think it serves like eight people. And on the side, I made some of these cornbread muffins, and my sister-in-law had made some apple butter and gave that out for Christmas, so we had been using that up quite a bit. So we just figured we would top our cornbread with it, and yeah, that was delicious. All right, so let's get into an actual video of me cooking dinner for you. Tonight's dinner is coffee cat Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches using the, the Aldi red bag chicken. I am so excited to try this because I have never had this before, but I've heard so many good things. So let me open this up and see what these things look like. Oh my goodness, look at these. Hey, there's five of them in here. So the bag said it had about four servings, but you're supposed to cook these for, how long is it? 20 minutes. 20 minutes and then you flip them and bake them for another 15 or 20 minutes and then these guys are done. Let's get them in. 
Okay, I'm getting ready to flip the chicken. Also, to go with it, I've got some zucchini and some Brussels sprouts I'm going to roast. I know I probably shouldn't crowd the pan this much, but I want to try and fit all of them on one pan. So, it is almost ready. I'm so excited. We've got just a few minutes left on the chicken and the veggies to be done. I got these brioche buns from Aldi as well. I thought they would go really, really good on the chicken sandwiches. So I've got a pan here that has a little bit of butter on it. I'm just gonna toast this on the pan for just a couple of minutes. That way it'll be nice and uh, warm and toasty. I've also got some pickles and I have some shredded, or not shredded, sliced cheese. I know some people like sliced cheese on their chicken sandwiches, some don't. We're gonna try it with and see how it is. Beautiful. These are pretty toasted. All right, let's get this all together. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. I am going to dig in. This next dinner, I believe, was right after a Jungle Gems run. This pasta looks like something that I had bought at Jungle Gems. So I had a bunch of leftover ham in the freezer. I pulled it out and cooked it up with some mushrooms. And it looks like I cooked up some pasta. And I had some shredded Parmesan cheese I had gotten at Jungle Gems. So all that just kind of put together. And then some frozen broccoli on the side as well. Now that I'm looking at it, that is, looks like a ton of pasta. However, those are the really big noodles. So it takes a bunch of space. And then as a side, I had some bread. I believe that was actually Jungle Jim's bread. I just toasted up with some butter. And here we have homemade pizza. I love making my own pizza dough, even though it does take a little while. I use my bread machine for it. So I cooked, or I made up the, the pizza dough and I had some pepperoni also from Jungle Jim's. I had just chopped up really small and put that on top of the pizza. I also made some buffalo cauliflower, which was delicious. My typical toppings for pizza are basically pepperoni and jalapenos because I'm weird. Um, I had a, a side of ranch over there for dipping, but I've also been known to dip my pizza in hot sauce too. Um, leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite pizza toppings are too. And this one was just a very uh, simple rice and bean bowl. I cooked up some rice, looks like maybe with a can of diced tomatoes to make kind of a Spanish rice. And then some different seasonings like cumin and chili powder. The black beans were a, a bag of dried beans I just cooked up in the Instant Pot. I like to freeze my beans in quart size bags and then just heat them up when I need them. So there's the rice and the beans. I also had some mozzarella cheese because I did not have any cheddar. And then jalapenos, salsa, and I believe that might be Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. I'm not sure, you can't tell just by looking at it. Um, it's good either way, but this is a really good way to get in your uh, health, all, so all sorts of vegetables and healthy carbs in there too. And this chicken curry, I bought a curry paste, a huge tub of curry paste from Jungle Gems. I'm still using it up by the way, but that curry paste makes this curry taste like the restaurant. So good. This was shredded chicken and probably two bags of frozen stir fry vegetables. That's just really easy to heat up in the microwave and throw them in with it. And I had some jasmine rice there on the bottom. I mean, you could pay $9 for something at the restaurant or you can make it like this for something really cheap. And then here is the last dinner that I'm going to make for you on video. Tonight's dinner is a jerk chicken with coleslaw. And this recipe is so easy, seriously. It's just a pound of chicken breast. I've got one pound of frozen. So don't worry, it'll cook just fine in the slow cooker. And I just have the great value Car Caribbean style jerk marinade, but you can use whatever type you want. It's just a fourth cup inside here with the chicken, 
cook it on low for five or six hours and then shred it and you've got dinner ready. And then you can serve it with anything you want, but I'm going to serve it bowl style with some rice and roasted cauliflower, but I'm sure it'll go really good on a sandwich too. So let's get this thing cooking. Next up, I'm gonna get the coleslaw ready, just to let it sit in the fridge before dinner. Super, super easy, Be very basic recipe. It's just a bag of coleslaw mix, then you got some mayonnaise, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, then some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. So leave me a comment and let me know which of these meals would you like to try soon. I hope you got some inspiration on new meals to make for you and your family. Like I said, I've got all the recipe links in the description for you all to check out. I'll have another one of these videos coming up in the next month or two once I get another good collection of recipes going. So in the meantime, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so right now by clicking that button below. Also like this video and ring that bell down there and that way you'll be notified when the more videos like this come out as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.